you'll find like a quieter when there's tricky bits like that. It's like two plates. One charge comes in here and it comes out there. It's just insane that you should throw away this. In today's disposable technology culture, we're all too eager to get rid of our old kit when it's broken. Well, I'm here in a central London council estate to meet a bunch of people who are hoping to change our philosophy about what to do with a gadget once it breaks. So Ugo, tell us what is a restart party? A restart parties are very simple. We find a, a venue and uh, we publicize it uh, along social media and with community groups in the area. People come bringing either their skills to help others or something that they're having a problem with. The idea of the Restart project combines learning from what's happened in the south of the world where no one never lost the repair skills and thinking about so many gadgets that are now more and more part of our everyday life. This was ready to go into the recycling because I knew it didn't work and I couldn't, it wasn't the batteries, it wasn't the memory card and that's about my, the extent of my knowledge. So but I thought I'd give these boys a run for their money. <laughs> and we don't like when we see things that end up uh, in a skip or even recycled by our councils when they could have a second or a third life uh, if only we use some basic repair skills. That's frightening. I see there's a little catch there and it, they're all really, really fragile. I brought a TV. It's been sitting at home in a state of disrepair for about two years now, I guess. <laughs> it died just out of the warranty. We have a rough idea of what will come, but every single time there is a new object that we didn't expect to come. And actually for volunteers, this is one of the biggest rewards. Um, that's your tuner. It looks like a conditional access card. Do you think modern gadgets don't last as long as they used to? Absolutely. Less and less repair manuals that people can use. Spare parts are not available to consumers or if, when they are, they are priced in ridiculous ways that push people not to repair what they have and instead to upgrade and keep buying new stuff. We've just received this transformer. It says the cable of this product cannot be replaced. If it is damaged, the product must be destroyed. It's this must be destroyed that we don't accept. We like to learn how can it be not destroyed? How can we learn how to make it last longer? If you look at them carefully, they're slightly domed. They're slightly raised. Yes. So what you do is tear, tear them out because that's part of your problem. The idea though is really to be able to reach out to the widest possible public and not just preaching to the converted but really getting people uh, who have maybe not so many skills in regards to taking stuff apart. It's a brilliant idea. I'd like to learn a bit but... I did deal with my leaky batteries yesterday. I like to try and understand it so that I can learn more. Are you inspired to give it a go? Replace those domed capacitors? I most certainly will. I think I've got all the equipment I need to do it. 